All right, on your main screen here, you will see any DBOTs or DBOT products that you have listed. Right now, I only have the N79S. If you come over to the three dots, it will give you an assortment of options, including private information. So sadly, we'll not be showing you that. Coming over here to the plus sign, if you select the plus sign, this is how you get to add an Ecobee bot. So you just would scroll down the list and follow the instructions, after which your bot is added here. Selecting your individual bot will bring up the remote for that particular bot. In the case of my N79S, you have a little remote control. Currently it is docked. You know that because it has a green lightning bolt up there. This will change as the power gets used while it's vacuuming to the point where you will see a single red one when it's time for it to charge. Notice it says status on standby. If we were to select hypothetically auto, I've sent the command to the DBOT to start cleaning. It's pulling itself off and now you can see the status says cleaning. I'm going to change it so that it goes back and recharges itself mainly because I have not emptied the bin since last time I vacuumed. You have a directional remote right here. The directional remote does not work if it's in auto edge or you have to actually just use the remote to send it around. So if you're in auto, this will turn itself off completely. In fact, you probably saw it gray itself out once I hit auto. Buttons up there, you have vacuum power. So you can select max or standard. Last time I was using max, it does remember that when you have it on auto. You really don't need max all that often, but it's for heavier debris. Maximum suction power. Cleaning schedule. Now cleaning schedule is useful and what I was originally getting this for was I was going to get the DBOT and have it clean periodically throughout the day. Well, the problem with that is it did get hung up a couple times when I was testing it, so. front wheel got hung up there. Using this during the day, probably not the best idea. Also, I was planning on using it to annoy my downstairs neighbors, but the RoboVac is a, little, is a lot quieter than I had given it credit for. But if you want to use this when you're around, you can come up here to the plus sign and you can schedule a specific time and then you can set it to, all right, so let's hypothetically say 2009 on Monday, so it repeats every Monday, or you can say every Sunday, Monday, to blah, blah, blah. So we will say every Monday and go back and hit this check mark. Now it has locked in a schedule. You can see there is a schedule now toggled for every Monday at 2009. It will go out and do its thing. Now you can toggle that on and off. And you probably can't hear, but it is beeping on the robotic vacuum itself as it acknowledges this command. So if you wish to delete, you just swipe to the side and select delete and it clears the schedule. Now you can have schedule set up and a different schedule set up for every day of the week. We're going to go back. So consumable usage. So each of the brushes, the side brushes, the main brush and the filters all have a lifespan. Here's how you see the uh, manufacturer suggested lifespan. Uh, side brushes, I'll tell you, probably are going to die a lot quicker than this main brush is pretty hardy and resilient. So all of these were at 100 when I got it. Uh, so as you can see, only 90%, you probably eke out much more uh, off of the main brush. Filters, I would probably go with recommended. Even after cleaning them, they do look like they will uh, take a lot of wear and tear, but will need to be replaced a little more regularly than I had anticipated. There's a reset button down there. So if you want to reset all of those, hypothetically, when you get new ones and put them in, that's where you could do it. Here you can rename it. So if you don't like DBOT N79S, you can change it to something else. Now, what I will say is that uh, you cannot change the echo command to tell the DBOT to go out and uh, start cleaning. So it will forever be blah, 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 ask DBOT to start cleaning or blah, 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 tell DBOT to charge. Now, at first it was very specific where I needed to say ask DBOT to do something. And it eventually let me say, just tell DBOT to do something. I want it to do something. Last but not least is find DBOT. Clicking that, hopefully you heard off camera. I don't know, have a lapel mic on. Uh, you click on that and it will pulsate beep, 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 beep from the DBOT so that you can locate it. So if it gets stuck under a bed and you're not sure, clicking that will let you find it. And that is it for the DBOT 